Hello everybody, Clint Seeley here. Um, today I wanted to do a brief introduction to uh, the next series of digitizing uh, embroidery tutorials that I'm going to be recording specifically for uh, Bernina Designer Plus version 8. Now many of the tutorials that I'm going to be recording, a lot of the features you can totally use and follow along uh, if you also own V7 because V7 and V8 are almost identical it's just that in V8 they've added some new cool tools but they haven't taken anything away so most everything that we're going to be using will be covered um, V7, V8 unless it's um, the tutorial is going to be marked specifically only to V8 <clears throat> but what I wanted to do was kind of tell you exactly how this is going to go, how the flow of this is going to go, and what we're going to focus on. We're going to really get into the meat and potatoes of the program, break it apart into little bitty, um, easily digestible pieces, and we're going to use the reference guide to make it that much easier to follow along. That way you have the visual, um, the video, of me showing you something and narrating to you something but also you can have a copy of the reference manual to follow along if that's a more effective way for you to learn uh, as well I did a um, a poll on our Facebook page if you're not a, a member of our group on Facebook I would highly suggest that you go and sign up for that it's free and you would just uh, search for uh, Bernina Digitizing Software by Passion Stitch in the Facebook groups. Sign up for that. But I did a poll on Facebook and, and presented the question to the membership, and the response was overwhelming. Everybody was like, yes, we would love for you to uh, break this program into little bitty pieces that are easy to digest and to use the reference manual in order to do so. So let me show you a few um, benefits to that and kind of give you a feel of how the lessons are going to go. If you've ever watched any of my lessons, you know, you know that I usually create completely original stuff, but I don't really have printed out directions. It's just, a, you know, what I do is a video tutorial format. Now, I did make a book for version 7 for the art canvas, specifically the Corel Draw side, but we really didn't have anything real great as far as a reference manual goes or an instructional manual manual for the embroidery canvas now in version 8 they have uh, a cool reference manual that they've uh, added to the program and it's easy to find it's not super easy to go through there's a lot of information there there's a lot of great pictures and diagrams it's not super easily digestible it's just presented to you in an information format not a tutorial format per se so that's what I'm gonna do for you I'm gonna take that reference manual <clears throat> that has all the inform kinda like static information printed in it that's very useful but then I'm going to make a corresponding tutorial follow along tutorial to hopefully make everything uh, really easy to absorb and that's what I'm all about making things easy so let me show you if you don't already know let me show you where the reference manual is how easy it is to get to so if you have uh, the embroidery software loaded like it is here right on the screen <clears throat> all you have to do is go up to the little help section right up here and left click that help if you left click help you get a drop down uh, drop down menu that has several different options and you can see right at the top it says reference manual just left click reference manual and boom the reference manual loads now if you want your reference manual to look uh, like it's going to look on the screen for me when I point some things out um, and if you want it to be easy to go through I recommend downloading Adobe Acrobat Reader okay right here Adobe Acrobat Reader it's a free download and install that on, on your computer and make sure that when you open the reference manual it's looking like this we then have on the left hand side all of the bookmarks that's gonna make it easy it's kinda like uh, gonna like a table of contents it's gonna make it easy to navigate from one section or another and it's gonna make it easy for y'all to follow along with me now as you can see here this reference manual is 437 pages long 
right here. So <laughs> there's a basically a never-ending flow of content that I'm going to be able to develop straight out of this reference manual. And if you own Bernina Software version 8, you have, uh, you have the rights. Um, you own a copy of the reference manual. I cannot uh, post the reference manual on my website for download. Some of you might ask for me to do that. Um, even though I own the license to this reference manual, I cannot distribute it electronically. So that's kind of on y'all. If you if you um, have access to the reference manual, that's great. Um, it should come with your version 8. So scrolling through this, as you scroll through this, you can notice you can just scroll through on the the um, wheel on your mouse, um, and this would take forever scrolling through like this here. But you can kind of get a feel. Let me zoom in on this a little bit. See, we can zoom in on this dude. You can get a feel for the quality of the manual just by scrolling through it. Let me scroll down just a little bit, and you can see as we're going through it, there's lots of pictures, lots of diagrams, and as you can tell, it really breaks this entire program down into little bitty digestible easy to recognize pieces so <clears throat> really the great part is going to be you see we expand the bookmarks and we really get these things it covers installation it's going to cover uh, hardware setup and you can see we can drill down into sub menus as well using it acrobat reader so it's going to be easy uh, for y'all to follow me along and I suggest before actually going on to some of my video tutorials Get kind of familiar with Adobe Acrobat Reader and going through and just kind of breeze over the reference manual and Get a, a little familiar with the reference manual. That would be a good idea. I Won't be going completely from start to end because I don't need to go through and teach you the introduction That's pretty self-explanatory the system requirements for your computer security settings in, you know, there's just some things. There, my starting point is probably going to be either the basics or the digitizing techniques. And in that regard, I'll try to go through in corresponding or, uh, order through the manual. I won't cover everything. I'm going to focus on important things and meat and potato things. And then maybe the second time around we do that. But l let me point out something else that's really cool about the reference manual and the software. So not only do we get um, do we get the reference manual and I'm going to be creating the video tutorials but packaged in with the software as you can see let me go to digitizing techniques and let's drill down here okay so like in digitizing techniques probably one of the first subject matters I'm going to cover is going to be this outline and fill stitching so I'm going to click there and you can see it automatically goes to that section in the book and as you scroll down you see that they have, they're using as a reference or as a teaching guide, different um, files, okay, or different pieces of embroidery. A lot of these lessons, Bernina has actually bundled in the files that they use that you can locate via the library option in V8 software. So look at this one specifically right here. Well, they Bernina has bundled this in there, so. When I'm teaching to you, if there is an available reference file that you also own that's already on your computer or that you have a license to use, we can find that. And if given the opportunity, I'll use that so everything looks even more seamless. Let me demonstrate for you right here. So this is the outline and fill stitching. I think they everything that they've bundled in, they've started out with sample. They, they've named it sample and then the chapter. So let me show you how we would go about locating that. So if I went in and started the library, just open up the library, and you can see here, first let me clear, okay? We would then be searching the library, and if you're like me, we have thousands and thousands of designs. But the cool thing that Bernina has done here is they've started everything out with samples. So they call it sample and then this, or sampler and then this. And you can see... <coughs> If you narrow your search criteria down to just the word sample, you're going to start seeing only the things that Bernina is using as sample. And we can see right there, you can see the files located right there. So if the, if the particular file, corresponding file, to the reference manual is available and they've packaged it in, I'll use that one just to make it even more seamless and easier to follow along. So 
this is really I was just trying to do a um, there it is right there I was just trying to do a, a brief introduction so you had a really good idea of the direction that we're gonna head for um, a little while and I hope you I hope you enjoy it all right so be looking for my upcoming uh, video tutorials that are going to correspond with your reference manual hope you enjoyed this is Clint Seeley thank you for watching